bit of important information. So we're building a fence and back here, we dug a hole. There is a rolled up carpet buried underground that we came across as we were digging this hole. Rolled up carpet. Who the fuck and why the fuck is there a rolled up carpet underground? I'll move it. How is he that, is the door shut? Yeah. How deep is that, like at least two feet? Almost, yeah. Oh, right now. Okay, so a tree was planted above the rug. Yeah, and it is called blood a blood good, good because blood this good. was in the hole. Potentially, yeah. You guys all keep telling me just to like go dig it out. It's not that easy, okay? It is so deep. Let me show you again. For everyone saying it's burlap, it's fucking carpet. And I think it goes back that way. Also, to everyone who's really fucking upset about us cutting down this tree, same. The cop also pointed out how expensive the tree is and that we destroyed it. I fucking know. It's not been a good day. Our theory is that they're gonna go home, get back to the office, and start looking up cold cases. And maybe there was something in the vicinity and they'll come knocking and they'll be like, actually, we've decided we wanna dig that up. We're back and we're digging. You guys weren't ready for us to be done. You refused to let it sleep. I have so many volunteers saying that they'll come and help us because I mean, I may end up taking you up on that offer depending on how this goes since the police did uh, say this may require an excavator. Okay, and we have an excavator. Trying to not break my fence, which would be greatly appreciated. Making its way over to the hole. You guys. They have recovered the hole, and this has been the most absurd, insane experience of my life. What did they find? No, they didn't find a body. They found a mother effing rug with some rubber. The question remains of why did the dogs hit? I don't know. Both dogs, not just one, two. I don't know. The other question remains is who broke my laptop? There's people across the street. I don't know. I don't know. This was, I'm so confused. There's no body. There's no body. Honestly, let's praise the Lord. There's no body. I can stay in my house. Everyone knows where I live, but at least it's not haunted by that. But, but who broke my laptop? Who broke the laptop? Because we've still got the next door neighbor that died the day I moved in, her house got boarded up the day my computer got broken. So I don't know. I don't know. It's almost Halloween. Do we need, do, we, do I need, do I need a, a psychic to come to my house? I don't she got the whole police there. She got everybody just, even the, even the neighbor, even the neighbor was like mowing the lawn, trying to see what's going on. He wouldn't move. Like everybody was just there. He, she had an audience on TikTok. She went live on TikTok and just millions and millions of people just watching it that situation just ended like right now supposedly they you know they just found the rug with nobody in it but everybody's speculating that maybe the rug was used somebody was killed on it and even though the body's not there the the rug could be evidence right so it became this whole sensation of what happened what's going on the news were reporting about it the news were live on her backyard too and it's just it turned into this whole thing and nobody was found but you know that i'm not sure if they're going to be doing testing on the rug because testing is expensive but the whole thing just ended it was just a rug i don't know but the mystery of the effing rug is solved and there is no body there's no body and they are doing a fine job at putting my stuff back up let me tell you i appreciate the way that they have recovered this was the uh, fire pit that is no, no more. That is gone. So I will survive that. But holy shit, there's no body. Yay!